Here we have the system in the cleaning cycle. We've added the disinfectant to the tank, got it circulating and all the rest of that stuff, followed the instructions on the computer. As you can see there, we're about 21 minutes into the 30 minute clean cycle, at the end of which this system will drain and flush three times, refill with water, and then our rotator up here will rotate up 90 degrees, start filling with tablets, vibrate, rot that, rotate down 180, put fresh tablets in here, rotate back up 90 degrees to the off position, and then the water down here was spinning when the tablets were added, and it will uh, continue the growth the, to the remaining growth cycle that was left on this before we started cleaning. Uh, if it's 10 hours from now, that's what it is. If it's one hour from now, that's how long the tablets will grow. It will not change the a cleaning uh, operation will not alter the uh, drain time and the cycle time for this system. Okay? Uh, one thing you might notice here, we've added an extremely long drain line to this system. It actually goes all the way around the kitchen and enters a floor drain down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. I'll turn this light on and kind of highlight it down here. But that's where it goes, right down here. Okay. And as you can see right now, it looks like it was pulled out of the drain. But anyway, that's where it goes. And we'll fix that. But anyway, and the unit itself is clear back on the other side of the kitchen. To accomplish this drain, we, what we did was we increased the flush cycle. So you can add flushing cycles to the unit to uh, compensate for extremely long lines, uh, drain lines. All right? That's all for now. Thanks. Uh, okay, if you can see that, we've got about one minute left in the cleaning cycle here. Okay, and uh, I fixed that drain under there and put it back in the in the floor drain uh, uh, a little better, I think, and reattached the fittings that they'd knock loose. Those little clips and stuff that you see mounted on the wall that come in those uh, comes in those bag that bag that uh, Manila bag that comes with this unit so that it can be attached uh, to. Uh, run properly to a drain, okay? But uh, you'll see here in a little bit the uh, cleaning and flushing cycle will get started here. I'll back off a little bit here and try to give you a better, better view of it. It takes uh, four minutes uh, or 400 and 60 seconds to go through the flushing cycle here and your unit will count down here Again, the computer will maintain the whole thing. It will start counting down Okay, and uh, Run through the cycles Okay, there goes your your first drain cycle now when you first go into the cleaning cycle here What will happen is you'll come to a point and the computer will tell you to add disinfectant you should have by then removed your top panel up here, we just pulled it out. You can pour the disinfectant right in here, uh, the hole that this thing goes in. Uh, this unit right here, okay. Well, it just lifts out the holes right there. Just pour your disinfectant in, and then it will start filling with water. You need, this is the only time you have a manual fill of this tank. You need to press and hold the OK button here while it's filling after the disinfectant. And it will, then when it gets to the level that you want it, you just let off and it stops filling. That, uh, other than that, it has a pre-programmed fill cycle so that it doesn't overflow. Uh, overflow. Uh, when you add the disinfectant, it doesn't know, doesn't know how much you're adding. 
so it does not have an automatic fill cycle it's got a manual fill cycle okay there's the first drain okay and you notice it doesn't fill all the way up uh, the first few times you may have wondered what this device right here is okay what that is is a, a float mechanism in the event this thing would ever rupture or have a leak somewhere this little cork will float up and it will turn the power off to the unit so that it will not uh, continue to add water and overflow it shuts such shuts the incoming water and everything off but you'll see now it's filling back up and then the pump starts circulates the water a little bit okay and it's going to continue to drain okay this will go on and we have uh, approximately 290 seconds left of the flushing cycle and then I'll come back and we'll see what happens right okay. at the end. All right. The flushing cycle is done. Here comes the initial fill of fresh water into the hopper. might be able to see it counting down the fill cycle in seconds. There's your rotator, 90 up, vibrator, 90 down, more vibrations, 90 off. Okay, and we start the air and circulation of the water. Okay. Now I told you earlier that we don't interrupt the growth cycle uh, during a cleaning process. The time limit's going to stay the same. I don't know if you'll notice up here. Okay. Well, we've got four hours left of this growing cycle. Okay. Uh, and we're zero hours into it, by the way. So what's going to happen is four hours from now, the material that's grown in here is going to dump. Uh, and then it's going to start the process all over. So uh, the initial dump won't have the 31 trillion bacteria available. It may only have a couple hundred billion, okay? <laughs> but uh, it will all end up in the uh, grease trap, okay? Uh, that's pretty much the explanation of the operation and the cleaning process. Uh, everything's covered in the book. Sometimes you have to look around round for it and jump back and forth, but it's in there. All right, thanks.